starts talking about statistics, about difficulties, about death. But according to us, we need to talk about something more. This poem audaciously recites the cause and consequence, the reality of the situation and undeniable realizations. Everything changes with time is a well-known proven fact. But it changes so fast, faster than the flicker of the light and the sound of the thunder was not known to mankind. Days were going on pretty planned. Getting up, travelling, working all day, the cars honking, moving metros and trains, the flying planes all carrying people with dreams as high as the Everest. Weekends were spent at the restaurants, eating delicacies, celebrating with cupcakes and toasting to success. And the next day was like a twist in the story, a sudden popularity gained by something. No celebrity, political leader, author or activist, it was the dreaded virus. Hustle and bustle, alarming situations, panic and danger all around the world. The fear of death in the petrichor of life and success. Lockdowns, curfews and quarantine. It seems as if in a blink of the eye, life has come to a standstill. From old normal to new normal. No honking, no hustling, no moving. No motion of machines. Silence. The money minded, highlighted people are captured in their homes. Schools closed, religious places closed, hotels closed. Man-made nature on the off mode. Natural nature on the on mode. Families getting together, spending time together, understanding each other's perspectives. More of reading, meditation and cooking than working. Nature blooming on its peak. Rivers turning pure, flowers blooming, trees not cut, clean air with the aura of positivity, clear blue sky with the tempting visuals of bird in flight without the threat of airplanes, more of self-control, self-acceptance and self-love, more of sanitization, hand wash and the practice of namaste. Everything has its positive and negative. The pandemic has killed people as well as dreams. It has ruined nations and economies. But do we understand the extent of unaccounted exploitation that we have headed to from mother nature to enemy nature? And nature has shown us its strength to replenish and rejuvenate. As you sow, so shall you reap. The earth is on a reboot mode. We all are, actually. How much time can teach us is startling. It's high time that we keep a check on our activities. Pablo Nerida says, I want no truck with death, wanting us to keep quiet. Humans are a boon to earth. We should not leave them to vain. The earth needs solidarity. World needs kindness and we humans need introspection because nature is not going to give us many options. Yes, there is an end to everything, always, and this virus will to end, but we need to end up something more. Ill competitiveness, hatred, jealousy, money mindedness, and exploitation and walk towards the path of love and togetherness, purity and simplicity to transform ourselves and let the fire of mankind shine. So my dear fellow humans, we need to stand together to save ourselves, to save our habitat and to save the universe. The way godlike medical practitioners, grocery sellers, administrative staff and police officers are working for our safety, let's work for our planet's protection. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. We stand strong, we stand with our heads held high and urge the whole humanity to join hands with us. Thank you.